Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am here testing out some makeup. Laura Mercier sent me a box of makeup, and I have their matte bronzer, their loose setting powder, their foundation primer, some of their matte lipsticks, and then an eyeshadow, which I am so excited about. So yes, I'm gonna be testing these products out, and yeah, it's basically it. As you guys can see, I have officially my background. I am so excited. I always wanted a background like this with the shelves, and like the cute things on it. I've always wanted it, so I officially have it thanks to my boyfriend. Shout out to him for making these. I'm obsessed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this background too. Let me know down below if you guys like this. And also I got a microphone. I never had a microphone before, so my audio was always echoey, and it was just a little bit off. So hopefully my audio is on point and it sounds good. So let me know that as well. So yes, if you guys want to see me testing out some Laura Mercier products, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to put my hair back before we start. As you guys see, I do have my brows on already. Um, I always do in every video. If you guys want to see an updated brow routine, let me know because I did just find a new way of doing my brows and I'm literally obsessed with them. It takes probably about five minutes and they're nice and bushy and messy and it's so, so easy. It only involves two or three products. So if you guys want to see that, let me know down below. But yes, I am so excited. I've been wanting to film for so long with my new backdrop and my new microphone and then Laura Mercier sent me some of their products and I was like... What? Like, thank you so much, Laura Mercier. I'm so happy you recognized me and saw me because I'm so excited to be testing these out. Okay, so as you guys see, my brows are already done. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just prime them really quick with some concealer. All right, I'm going to go in and just set it with their loose setting powder since I have it. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I know a lot of people use this. This sets the Silky Soft Translucent Powder, sets makeup for all day wear with a modern matte finish. A touch of sheer coverage creates a soft focus effect, subtle blurring the look of fine lines and imperfections. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. This is what it looks like right here. Their packaging is always so beautiful. It's like to die for. I'm a sucker for packaging. Okay, so it has that. I'm just going to put a little bit in the cap just so I can set my eyeshadow down. I'm going to take that same brush and just set that all down. I'll give you my thoughts when I do my face because on my eyes, you can't really tell that much. I mean, it looks nice. <laughs> but when we do the face, I'll get more into it. But just setting my eyes right now, just so the eyeshadow kind of blends seamlessly. So we're going to be working around this. This is the Laura Mercier Lightweight Liquid Eye Color. And this one is in the shade Glide It Fresco. And it looks absolutely stunning. As you guys can see here, it is so, so pretty. When I first saw this, it reminded me of like prom. I don't know why, but it's such a pretty purpley champagne color. I'm obsessed with it, so I cannot wait to try this out. I have a look in mind that I kind of want to do, so let's go ahead and get started with that with the eyeshadow first, and then we'll go in with this on the whole lid, I'm thinking. I think it's going to be so pretty. I never tried that before either, so this is all first impressions and reviews. So for the eyes today, I'm going to be taking the Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill Palette. It's my go-to palette for any look. It has so many different varieties of color, so I love using this one. I'm going to go into a brown shade like this one. It's a more cool and warm tone mixed together. You know, I think that would be nice in the crease. And I'm taking my Morphe M518 brush, and I'm just going to pop this in my crease a little bit. clean fluffy brush just to really make sure that it's blended. It's going over the harsh lines. So next I'm going to be taking a shade like this, just like a dark plum shade, and just putting that on the outer corner. This is the Morphe M433 brush. with 
the shade right below it. It's an even darker plum brown shade. I'm using that a little bit on the outer corner and on the lash line to make it really smoky. Okay, I'm so excited to be testing this out now. Again, this is the Laura Mercier Lightweight Liquid Eye Color in the shade Glide Fresco. I am so, so excited. Look at that. And the applicator looks perfect to just glide right on there because some of these eyeshadows, like some of other brands, I have to like take a brush because the brush is so thick like you can't even use it on your eye. This one, as you guys see, it has like the perfect tip applicator. I'm so excited. obsessed with this eye look and that was so easy to use oh my god love 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 this highly recommend now i'm going to be applying some mascara and use the other products for the face that we have from their brand so yes i'll be right back so now we're going to move on to the face and we'll finish the eyes up later okay so this is it right here this is the laura mercier foundation primer as you know my skin is more dry i was really excited when i heard about this when it said water based because that means it's going to be a little bit more hydrating so i am really excited for this this is what the packaging looks like it is so so pretty it kind of matches our eyes <laughs> but it's so pretty i love their packaging like i said before this is what it looks like right here it's very runny but it's just my type of primer it's so just it feels so hydrating so let's try this oh yeah Oh yeah, that feels so good. That feels very hydrating. Oh wow, I really like that. Because my skin is so dry like a desert. <laughs> so I really like that. Wow, it gave me like kind of a nice glow as well. It's so, it's so good. It's a little bit tacky, which is perfect to apply some foundation. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and concealer off camera, and then we'll come back and set everything with their loose setting powder. And yeah, I'll come back and tell you how the foundation went on on top of the primer, and I'll see you guys real soon. Be right back. So now we're gonna go in with their powder. Again, we used this earlier. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It says Silky Soft Translucent Powder Sets Makeup for All Day Wear with a Modern Matte Finish. A touch of sheer coverage creates a soft focus effect. So yes, I'm really excited to try this out on my face this time. I'm just going to be taking a little bit in the cap right there. I really like that. It didn't make my skin, like I said, I am dry. So it didn't make it look dry or cakey or anything. It's really lightweight, like I don't feel like it's on there, which is nice because some powders, I feel like they're very heavy. It is really powdery on my skin, but this feels really, really nice. I like that a lot, so I'm gonna do the other eye, of course. It's really nice, I like that a lot. All right, so now we're gonna finish up the eyes and then we'll go ahead and finish up the face. Back in with that first brown shade that we used and applying it from inner to outer corner. Going back in with the two dark browns that we used and applying it to the outer edge. So, so pretty. Wow, I love that. So pretty. I kind of want to apply this a little bit down there. Let's do it. You know, we're going all out. Let's just do it. So pretty. 
I'm not just saying that. By the way, they didn't ask me to do a video or anything. They just sent me some products, so I wanted to test them out for you guys. And I'm literally obsessed with this eye look. I'm just going to be applying some bottom mascara. And that right there is it for the eyes. I am loving this look. And this liquid shadow to die for. I need to find out what other colors they have it in because it's so so pretty what i loved most about it well the pigmentation was there for sure and then i love the brush applicator you can just get right in that crease and it was perfect okay so now we're going to finish up the face they sent me their matte bronzing powder it says right here apply powder over areas where the sun naturally hits like cheeks nose brow bone forehead and chin so that is what i'm going to do this one is in the shade solar number one not sure how you pronounce that but this is in number one Look at that packaging. So, so hard. I didn't even get to finish my sentence. That's when I opened this. Look at this color. <gasps> I never had a color that I was so tight to try before for a bronzer. Pale girls, you're with me on this. You know how hard it is to find a bronzer that's not muddy, too dark, too cakey. This color right here. It looks so pretty. I'm so excited to try it. Oh, oh my God. If you are my color, this is perfect for you. Even lighter, like, look how gorgeous that is. It's the perfect shade. It's like warm tone, but cool tone. Oh my God, obsessed. so pretty it blended so easily on the skin it didn't like make it cakey or it doesn't have any of that like you know when sometimes you put a bronzer on it looks very patchy this doesn't it went on so so smoothly wow i love that i'm obsessed with that i love it so i'm just gonna be going in with any blush i don't have a blush from them in this one up here So now for highlight, I don't have one from Laura Mercier, so I'm going to be taking a mixture of the Pixie Duos. This one is in Delicate Dew, and this one is in Settable Sunrise. I'm going to be taking this shade, no, I'm going to be taking this shade right here, it's like a pinky one, and mixing it with this gold one right here. The other side's broken, so I'm trying not to like, get spilled on me, but I'm taking both of them, mixing them together to get the highlight that I want. Love this. I'm just going to be taking my pixie setting spray to set that all down. Okay, so we finished off the face. I'm loving everything so far. And now just for lip color, they sent me four of their... Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, I had another eye color. I didn't even see this one. Wait a minute. I had another eye color. This is their stick one. Oh my god. That one is I'm so excited to see that. This is their stick eye color in the shade burnished bronze. I'm so mad I didn't see that, but that is so so creamy. Look at that. Oh my god. Definitely have to do a tutorial using this. I could probably use it on the bottom. I just don't want to mess the look up, but I am so excited about this i cannot believe i have this i definitely will be doing a tutorial with this just focusing on this so if you guys want to see that let me know down below again this is their stick eye color in the shade burnished bronze and wow that is so pretty okay so now i'm going to be trying out they sent me their three of their extreme matte lipsticks i have one in fresh hot and vibe so we'll go ahead and do a swatch of all of them so the first one right here is fresh and this is what it looks like right here. Such a pretty, pretty kind of burgundy shade. So pretty and so creamy. It reminds me a lot of that eye cool color that I just showed you guys that I forgot about. It looks, it reminds me of that, the creaminess. And, oh, it's so beautiful. Look how 
creamy that glides on and the color is just so pretty a really nice burgundy shade so that is in the shade fresh the next color we have is vibe oh this is so pretty this color is like a peachy color which we might use that that one is so my vibe right there this one's in the shade vibe and i just said this is so my vibe yes yes but look at that creaminess again the color gorgeous and then lastly they also sent me the other one in hot i'm excited about this and i feel like it's gonna be like a red or something yes yes this oh that is so so pretty it's like a nice burgundy dark red shade like a plum Wow, I love all these. Which one should we use? I think I'm gonna go with the middle one called Vibe for Today. So easy to line with with no liner, because I'm not a liner person. Wow, that is amazing. It's a matte finish, but it doesn't feel drying on the lips. It feels more powdery, which is really nice. And it feels very lightweight. I'm literally obsessed with this shade right now. This in Vibe, I'm obsessed with. Yes, guys, that is it for this look. I loved everything by Laura Mercier. The powder was amazing. It was very lightweight. The bronzer, the bronzer was so, so pretty. Where is that bronzer? Here it is. This was so, so pretty. I highly, highly recommend it, especially if you're my shade. This is perfect for very light skin girls. It's perfect. And then I love the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow is everything. The lipstick, everything is so nice. So lightweight, not cakey. And I'm literally living for everything. I'll leave everything down below as well as the links if I can find that. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you guys want to see next. And if you guys tried any of these products and which was your favorite from Laura Mercier. So yes, that's all I have to say. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.